hi, welcome back. I'm Catherine, and we're making comics. So the last time, we made a comic about our story, our day so far. But today, and the next session, the training wheels are off. You can make a comic about whatever you want. My one rule is that it can't have existing characters. No Spider-Man, no Superman, no Elsa from Frozen, your characters. If you have characters, or if you write stories already at home, bring those characters along. Let's, let's make a comic about them. But it could be about anything you want, from your day, to something completely made up, to some sci-fi, whatever. You get to decide. The first step is to come up with our story. You know, and your idea should just be really quick and simple, but have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So we're gonna write that story first. So for example, maybe I'm gonna make a comic about, I woke up, my cat woke me up with her stinky cat breath, and I got up to feed her, but there was a monster inside the cat food bag, and we defeated her together. Boop, that's it. I'm gonna write that down in my story. And once we have that, we're gonna move on to making what's called a script. We're gonna add some more detail and we're gonna decide what happens in every panel of the comic. Remember, one panel equals one action. And we're gonna write. So I made this handy dandy chart. Your comic should have at least three panels, but no more than nine panels because comics take a long time to draw. And we want you to be able to finish. So, panel one, I'm going to say, uh, I woke up. Panel two, my cat's breath stank. So one action at a time, and write them down so you can stay organized. After you've written your script, grab a fresh sheet of paper because we're going to do a rough layout. Here's an example of a rough layout that I did. No straight lines, stick figures, scribbles. It looks like a mess. And I get paid to do this. Your rough layout should also look like a mess. It only has to make sense to you, nobody else. So what you want to do is take your script, panel one, two, three, four, and figure out what you want the pictures to look like, how you want to tell the story using images. So I'm gonna say a nice long panel for the sun coming up over the buildings in my house, it's right there. And then panel two, uh, my cat sitting. There's gonna be me and then there's my cat and she's got stink breath. Panel three. Think about what size and shape you want your panels to be. Also think about where you want your speech bubbles to go. Stinky cat breath. And if you get through all of this, if you finish your rough layouts by the end of class today, perfect. You're in great shape to start drawing your comic for real tomorrow. I can't wait to see what you wrote. Have fun. <laughs>